Marie by Designing. Today's video I wanted to discuss Back to Basics. Second video, but this time it's discussing how to do an eye cord using this book because I've been creating leaves. As you saw in my last video, I was describing what I'd been knitting out of this book and crocheting out of this book. Uh, 100 Flowers to Knit and Crochet by Leslie Stanfield. And I wanted to show you how to do an eye cord. I had done an eye cord in the past. I'd done a necklace here to do this using a circular needles, four millimeter the needles. Um, I didn't do very well on those. This was my easy method. So this book, before I show you how to do an eye cord, it describes in, in detail of um, the knitting abbreviations, uh, crochet symbols and abbreviations. It shows you the materials and equipment used. But as I say in my other video, it didn't say the size of needles. It just asks you when you're knitting or crocheting to use your own imagination, say, and you decide on using various size needles so which i i have done in my products and they work quite well how i decided what size to use uh it will dis it describes a slip knot in knitting uh casting on from method cable cast on uh swiss darning chain it discusses markers i cord cast off invisible seaming it shows you uh, notes on crocheting, slip knot, working in rows, invisible fastening off. But as I say, no size needles, so use your own initiative if you use this book. Okay, now an eye cord is worked doing, first of all, a slip knot. So wrap your yarn around two fingers. Take one end of your needle and pull the bottom end of your yarn through and then pull up on your needle to produce a slip knot. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, right, we're going to cast on three stitches now. Put one end of your needle, your circular needle, into your stitch and cast on yarn round needle and you need to count three stitches. One. two three and then slide your stitches down to your other end of your needle then you hold the end of that yarn in the other end and then continue and you in your three stitches again and you knit another three stitches this is knitting now you've done your casting on this is knitting oh, one insert your needle into the next stitch two and three and you continue this and this is what's going to produce your eye cord slide it down again onto the other needle and then you carry on producing those three stitches and doing it that method and then you will end up with an eye cord at the end 
and I will come back and I will show you my cord. See you in a minute. Bye-bye for now.